Hello, this is Tolfan Trifo, but also with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I want to show you how you can uh, populate a landscape or an area of your scene uh, the easy way uh, with an add-on that's already with that already comes with Blender called the Object Scatter Add-on. It's uh, something I didn't see before, but I just saw it last week or so. Then thought I would share it with you guys. Now, what I mean is when it comes to populating a scene uh, in Blender before when you would do that let me create a plane by pressing shift A and click on plane S to scale it up okay and now in Blender what you would do before you would click on the particle system uh, press the plus sign and go to hair and you would have to mess with all these parameters uh, to get it set up and to have it look right and it was kind of a tedious and kind of an intimidating process but in Blender 2.8 it's been simplified quite a bit uh, this only applies for uh, Blender 2.8 uh, 2.7 9 and so on and below that it doesn't work with that only with Blender 2.8 and above now to enable the add-on, go to Edit, Preferences, let's, uh, from the pop-up menu in the search bar, let's type in Object. And when this comes up, Object Scatter would be one of the options. And make sure that this checkbox has been activated by clicking on it. And once it's been done, close that out. And we're going to press, we're going to add a cube to this scene. So we're going to press Shift-A click on cube let's turn on the uh, navigation here of uh, the uh, the gizmo and we're going to pull this off this side by holding down our left mouse button over the uh, Y axis and dragging it across S to scale to make it a little bit smaller now to activate this add-on or to see it work in the scene we're going to uh, activate both of these elements so hold down shift or left click on your cube hold down shift and le left click on the plane once that's done press the space bar and type an object scatter and it pops up click on that and all you have to do is hold down your left mouse button and draw across and there you go now once it's been activated you can change these parameters by clicking on this little tab here with the wrench and the screwdriver and down here you'll see object scatter you can change these parameters to change the look of your uh, scattered objects you can increase the density the radius between the objects increase the scale of the objects the randomness the rotation you can uh, change the offset and the seed which is the variation of how you want the objects to lay on the, the plane and once you've you've uh, you know you're satisfied with the results you just press enter and there you go and this works with multiple objects you can also add this would be good if you want to add grass rocks so on and so forth debris to a scene and doing it the easy way you can add a cube or as many objects as you want, cubes, uh, cylinders, cones, and we can try that now. Let's uh, go to File, and New, to create a new scene. Let's discard that. And we're going to press Shift A again, Plane, S to scale it up. Click on our cube to move it to the side, to activate our widget. Move our cube to the side here. We're going to press Shift A to add Let's add a cylinder, pull that to the side, shift A again, and we're going to add a cone, pull that to the side also, and I'm going to scale these down, S to scale, scale it down, activate it, left click, scale, S, S again, drag your mouse, move them closer together so we don't have to, you know, do too much work in terms of selecting them. And it's the exact same process. 
left click, hold down shift to left click all of them. And the next thing we're going to do again, space bar, scatter object is there, our object scatter is there, then hold down your left mouse button and drag across. Let's uh, scale up by holding down our middle mouse wheel and moving up and press enter. You can see that the cones are there, cubes are there, and the cylinder is also there. So yeah, this is a quick way that you can use to scatter objects in your scene the easy way in Blender with the add-on which comes with the Blender called the Object Scatter. I hope this was helpful and hope it helped everyone who is watching. Once again, I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you all for who have subscribed and to you of you who will still subscribe. Really appreciate you guys and thank you all. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.